Hi to everyone from Pes Universe and everyone supporting Pes Universe and watching. I'm Eldridge. I'm the Celtic e supporter. So. Um, The first question that I have to answer is when I did when I started playing PES. Well, I started playing PES um, ever since it existed. Um, I played it, let's see, on Super Nintendo when it was called International Superstar Soccer. So basically, somewhere in 1995. I was always passionate. Uh, about playing when I was playing PES. Basically, how you see me when I win, so um, you know, like always screaming and 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 celebrating loudly. You know, it comes from back when I was playing with my brothers. Um, all of us, we were like when one was winning, we tried to humiliate the other or like you know. Uh, laugh at the other, uh, celebrate loudly to make sure um, mentally he, he wasn't capable of, of coming back. So, yeah, basically, I've always been passionate about it. So, um, yeah. Uh, my favorite best player is uh, my. It's hard to say. I, I have two favorite best players, uh, Cristiano Ronaldo and Kylian Mbappé. Uh, mostly Kylian Mbappé because of my club. The featured Mbappé is so strong, so great. Um, love to play with him. Great dribbling skills and Cristiano Ronaldo because he's just he scores so easily. Uh, very great player. Also love him as a football player as well. So that makes it an easy choice. Who would that be? I don't know. Three famous people. Well, one that comes to mind is Kevin Hart. Um, actually, he's very funny. I went to most of his stand-up comedy shows when he came to the Netherlands in Amsterdam, in the Ziggo Dome. So he's one of the three. The second one would be, I think Cristiano Ronaldo. Uh, basically because he's just uh, a beast, you know, how he works and his work ethic, how he, yeah, made sure he got, he was be, he was the best in the world, you know, so, um, the third famous people, I think Eric Thomas, uh, basically because he's a motivational speaker, uh, a very great one. Uh, mostly before tournaments, I listen to his speeches as well to get some uh, motivational, some some motivation, some mental strength to build my mental strength before the tournament. So the three people that will be the three people, yeah, Kevin Hart, Cristiano Ronaldo, and Eric Thomas. I'm not sure Eric Thomas is that famous as the other two, but I know him really well. The reason our styles uh, is clicking is because um, we have, we both come from the Netherlands. We we both have the Dutch style football. You know, we can easily adapt. Um, you know, we know about tiki taka style as well. We play it a lot against each other, making each other better. Um, went to tournaments together. Now, the thing is, when you play against each other a lot you start to know how the other is playing. I think that's the best way to know each other, uh, make sure the chemistry is good, play against each other. I know Jos' style, so uh, he knows mine. And the thing is we can, uh, as I said in an eFootball Pro interview, we can play defensively, and play on the counter, we can play offensively on ball possession. So it doesn't matter, we just have to tell each other, all right, all right this is how we're going to play, and this is what we're doing. 
and the most important thing is we understand football you know we both used to play football and um, our philosophy is, is basically the same so that makes the chemistry really good if I was marooned on a desert uh, the food I would like to have an unlimited supply of would have would be uh, brown beans but then the Surinamese way so the way that it's made um, like my native country it's in it's Suriname that's in southern in South America next to Brazil most people might not know it because it's very little country in Brazil and I mean in South America and um, they don't even play the CONCACAF competition with football they play the with the little countries like Aruba etc so but yeah brown bees with rice with white rice and chicken that would be my food when I was marooned on a desert island definitely I can eat it all day every day definitely less scripting I think Liverpool, at least I hope Liverpool. Uh, um, I'm an Arsenal supporter as well. So to have Spurs win the, the, the Champions League, that would be so hard, so hard to see, man. Oh my days. So definitely Arsenal, uh, I'm sorry, Liverpool. So, and of course Van Dijk and Wijnaldum are playing. So I hope the Dutch guys get to win the Champions League. I think Pesh Universe is already doing a great job with creating the kits for everyone. So that's a very, very good job. And the Brazilian Ronaldo, the real one, R9. Um, back in the day, I always was like, I want to be like him. And I, w I used to be a number nine myself as well. But uh, R9 is really the best ever for me so I can't stop watching even nowadays I still watch some of his uh, YouTube videos consistency I need to be more consistent um, you know I and I can play very well I can reach a very high level but um, sometimes after a while my level drops and then I have to get back to my level uh, the same with this year my highest level was at the nationals of season one and then I lost that level and the level came back around the last week of eFootball Pro and the last chance tournament so I need to be consistent and have a high level throughout the game and the season. I would prefer 1v1. Uh, Co-op is nice as well, but 1v1 has you know the prestige. You can say you are the best. And co-op is just is more with the team, of course. It's fun to watch, it's fun to play with as well. But 1v1 is just like yeah. To say you're the best in the world by yourself. It's just uh, the main thing to to have, to do, to say. So, be a world champion in 1v1. I prefer above being world champion in co-op. The goal in uh, Emirates Stadium, definitely. In the quarterfinal against Jose. I was I won the first game 2-0. Second game I was 3-1 up and I don't know what happened but right in the 19th minute Jose was leading 5-3. Uh, that would be that would mean we would have to be, play a third game playoff. But right after kickoff I scored the kickoff goal in the 92nd minute or 93rd minute and I scored a 5-4, which means on aggregate I won 
uh, 6.5. So I was, after that goal, I jumped around, ran a lap around the stadium, uh, inside, of course. Man, that was epic. An epic goal, epic moment. That's the most memorable goal. I even have that moment on canvas, but um, as I recently moved, I don't have the canvas right now with me, but it's a great, uh, yeah, a great goal, a memorable goal. Kylian Mbappé is the next best thing. 20 years or 21 years of age and really he might be the best player in the world for a while after Ronaldo and Messi stop. So definitely Kylian Mbappé. Suits. I like suits so much man. Um, the second one, Game of Thrones, it has to be, and the third one should be something you don't expect, but the originals, you know, I like Klaus, the way he's acting, great one, great series, so anyway, this was the interview for Face Universe. Everyone, thanks for watching. As Universe, thanks for asking me to do this interview. Always glad to help you guys out. So, do this interview and uh, keep up the good work. I love what you're doing for the PES community. And uh, would love to collaborate or anything do with you guys as well. So. Peace. See you next time.